I would suggest the websites like Kegel, Katie Duggets. Then you have uh, Hello Dicks with there is another one, the guy comes here. So I remember the first uh, orientation session that I had at Great Lakes here, uh, Mr. Hari uh, actually said a very uh, important thing which sticks uh, with me even today is that um, we're now in a scenario where we need competencies rather than just writing down skills uh, on our uh, CVs. So I think that is very important. You might know about 10 different things in analytics for instance, but if, you, if you're not, not the master of that one particular thing, it really isn't going to lead you anywhere in the long run, especially given the fact that every day uh, people are pushing the limits for analytics into deep learning space, machine learning, you know, um, assisted and non-assisted. So it's just growing like a big bubble. Do five people per day and just scale them off. That is up to you. You select or don't select. I'll give you my opinion. So the things what I look for, if the person already has experience in data science, or say some analytics projects. I check the person on the approach what he followed, when he did the project, why, what was the approach followed. Second, I check the person on the statistics. For example, it's a re regression. So how would you say this model is good? I check the person on those things. Third is the SQL. SQL is when you're collecting the data. But I see if an average person is fine in SQL, you you read, uh, you get average of SQL, I'm going to name that person. You don't need too much of SQL there. You collect the data from several sources, you're writing SQL, or you may get help from someone. There are people who are data, the DBAs, etc., they can help you out. So that's the third one. Fourth one is if you have some uh, knowledge of some group. SAS, R, Python, or whatever. And the fifth one is the communication. These are the five things which I check read the personal. The industry exposure that we got was uh, really nice. Uh, we, we got to, pers I personally got to understand like how people are using analytics. And uh, I mean, it, it just opened a whole horizon for me to you know, really understand what kind of jobs exist. I think that's very important. They talk about their experiences and what they've been uh, doing with analytics, I think it's a, it's a big eye opener. And then they have these tips and tricks which probably not a uh, acad academic person would give you, like you know Excel tips and you know R tips, which when you're using it. So I think that was very beneficial. Of course, in my uh, Zomato, I apply a lot of things what I've learned in PGBBA, integration, all the analytic, predictive analytics and all. But in, even in my day-to-day -day life, uh, it has helped me a lot. Capstone project was the most important thing that helped me to get my job because I did an actual project uh, how we, I'm uh, collecting the data and I'm, I'm making a model of the data uh, and then, then the thing when I got uh, given my, when I was in my interview for the for in Zomato they asked me about the project and I have to explain everything in my project so that was a that was the only thing I would say the most important thing that the CI is is a good project on this and a good knowledge on stats and knowledge on um, everything I have and this. Besides that, it also helped me to uh, get connected with the industry. To the point that the industry connects what I had at that point, uh, there are VPs and directors and some companies and we chat on WhatsApp to tell this. I spoke to the um, the head of the data science team at my organization, and I proposed to her that you know this is the course that I'm pursuing, and would you consider like taking me into your team uh, once I'm done? So she did tell me that okay, yes, we can consider you, and she told me that these are some of the skills that you should learn when, while you're at the course, and and eventually it did happen. There was uh, an internal posting, and and I got through that. So definitely.